Right folks, um, what we're going to do today, we're going to try out a new, uh, new to me product range, Pro XL, and uh, we're going to dip Rem 700 gun stock using only aerosols throughout the whole system. The Pro Grip Universal Adhesion Promoter um, is basically any surface it's going to work on it comes in an aerosol form isocyanate free fan nozzle whether you can see that so we're actually getting a spray pattern rather than a circular cone pattern and um, ready to use universal adhesion promoter for all body sur surfaces such as plastic aluminium galvanized zinc fiberglass body fillers and painted surfaces also replaces abrasion for difficult access areas so if you're doing a cylinder head and there's a lot of recesses in it give it a right good clean very light scotch get some of this stuff waxed on it and the pro grip should do exactly what it says on the box and grip everything that goes on top and everything that lies beneath the rem 700 stock is a synthetic fiberglass mix so it's a hard very hard stock um, the prep that I've done up to now is red hot water and soap and a good scrub uh, to degrease it. What I'm going to do, the stippled, what you would say checkering on a wooden gun, I'm going to leave them black and I'm going to leave the, uh, the pistol grip cap black. I'm going to use an adhesion promoter and I'm going to use an aerosol primer, plastic primer and I'm going to dip straight over a beige aerosol plastic primer I've done it dozens of times people say don't, I don't get it, it works so um, I'll start with the masking and I'll get back to you as soon as it's masked the, the adhesion promoter will uh, come out in a nice fan shaped pattern So you get out of a out of a detail gun, but the beauty is you're not getting any waste. There's no cleaning, there's no air compressor, there's very little not actually gonna go onto the piece that you're spraying. Like I say, it's scotched up, it's masked up, it's cleaned, it's degraced, so my fingers won't be touching it again. It's gonna get one light coat. Make sure I cover it into all nooks and crannies. I'm going to leave that for about 10-15 seconds and then I'm going to go on with a slightly heavier coat but nice and even and let it soak in. Obviously use a respirator or use some kind of extraction because it's not a nice smell and it won't do you any good. Okay so that's soaked in a little bit started to tack off it's actually recommending two light even coats for the whole job another beauty of this is there's no uh, let's try and get that in the camera view there's no compressor banging away in the background saving on electric as well it's a professional product though I'm not encouraging people who have absolutely no idea what they're doing to uh, pick up a load of gear and poison themselves and the neighbours in the garage so that's now nice even shine on it we let that soak in 20 minutes recommended and it's ready for a primer on top ok just a quick uh, a quick chat about the uh, the product as you can see I got full coverage in a light coat and uh, what I would call a semi heavy coat 
I mean, that's gone straight over the adhesion promoter. Um, absolutely no issues at all. As I've said, the good thing is I'm now not cleaning spray guns out. There was very little overspray, very little waste, and uh, it's just neat and tidy. If I save money, the customer saves money. Um, there's a full range of Pro XL products. This was just the uh, adhesion promoter and the Superbuild primer. What I'm intending on doing with this stock, I'm going to dip straight to the primer with a uh, with a camouflage dip, and uh, then I'm going to matte lacquer it once again with aerosol, and uh, possibly a couple of days later do some solvent and petrol testing on the stock. Use a few greases on it and gun cleaners just to prove that you can get results and quality results out of spray cans if you use the professional gear. Okay, masked up. About a 20 minute job, they're not the easiest thing in the world to do these because there's a, uh, a very deep recess runs down the side of the checkering. So I've just standard uh, automotive masking tape checkering masked up and uh, your front panel checkering masked up now the stock is a pretty matte uh, scuffed up finish all I've done with that is red scotch paper just to take any sign of shine off it and uh, go straight on with the universal adhesion promoter okay so the product we're using now is uh, Pro XL Super Build primer, I'm talking a bit louder because there's a fan on the, in the background. It's a beige primer so it's ideal for me to go on underneath um, all two <coughs> real tree camouflages. It's a very high build primer so if I wanted to get rid of stipple finishes out of the gun stocks, dashboards etc, I can just keep putting it on, dry it flat, reapply, dry flat. Uh, recommended abrasive 400, 500, a brunette, you can dry sand this stuff no problem. Now, once again, it's got a fan nozzle on it, so it makes it a lot easier. What I'm going to do is what I call an adhesion coat. Now, an adhesion coat is a very light coat that's going to go off very quickly, probably a couple of minutes, it'll start to go matte. It helps the next coat, the wet coat that I'm going to put on, adhere to that. The colour of grab coat, uh, adhesion coat, light coat, dust coat. It's very important that we don't go straight on with a heavy coat. So I can see that matting off now. Now I can go on with the wet coat. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually look at the stock. I'm not interested in what the spray can's doing. What I'm aiming for is a nice wet finish. Slow passes, overlap on each pass. You shouldn't get runs with this stuff because it is a high build primer and it's designed to go on thick. If I can get a nice glossy wet finish with this coat, it's less preparation for me prior to the dip. So what we've got there is we've got a glass like finish with the primer that hopefully once that's gone off which is approximately 20 minutes I can just scotch pad it and go straight in with the dip. Okay. Turn it off.
Disco Lacassan. Once again, Pro XL. Now this is a uh, it's a high build UV and pressure resistant uh, matte lacquer, 1K. Drying time 30 to 60 minutes. Obviously you wouldn't, but you can mechanically polish it after 24 hours. Uh, UV resistant too, and you can dry it with infrared if necessary. Once again, use the uh, use the fan nozzle on this. Now, all I've done with the stock after dipping it is uh, is basically make sure all the PVU disappears and give it a good uh, a, a good wipe off with some lint-free cloth. If you need to, if there's any sharp bits, any bits of dirt got into it, uh, just grey scotch pad is fine. Now what I'm going to do is, as I did last night, uh, I'm going to give it an adhesion coat. It's, it's always good to start any form of paint system off with an adhesion or a grab coat. Um, just basically coming at it, I'm just showing it back in the lens, and it's just a quick light coat. As I said with the priming, what that's going to do is it's going to help further coats to get hold of it. So I can go on with that. It's about, once again, 20 degrees in here. So the paint's been in here all day. That's going to be about 20 degrees. If you want it to dry quicker, you can always cheat and put the can in some uh, really warm water for 10 minutes. It'll make it dry a lot quicker um, and go off. Probably you get it a bit matter as well, if you use a bit of heat. Right, so I've done that now, I've got my fan pattern, heavy coat, just one, it's only a demo this. As with the, uh, with the primer, I'm aiming for an extremely shiny, gloss-like finish, just with the coats that I'm doing. not interested in what my hand's doing at all. I'm looking at what the, gun, the actual paint's doing on the surface of the gun or the stock. Nice slow coat. Don't forget that the masking tape is still on the stippling on this gun. So I don't need to concentrate too much on them areas. Don't be frightened of these, uh, these spray cans if you're new to it. The chances of you getting a run, if you work evenly, are remote. Now I can see, as I'm turning that round, it's already started just to flash off a little bit. They're recommending a couple of coats, and they're recommending 30 to 60 minutes to be fully cured. As a demo, I'm going to leave it at one coat, and then what I'm going to do tomorrow, I'm going to wipe some petrol on it, maybe a bit of gun degreaser, and just see what kind of resistance it's got. As I said, UV resistant. So there's no issues with uh, with a question I, I saw on a site yesterday regarding dip pattern not holding fast in sunlight or in daylight, some kind of daylight scale going around. Once you've sealed it in, your actual UV attack is going to go on the top coat and not on the dip, hence we don't get pink cars anymore. In the olden days the 1k reds, box all Novas were a nightmare for it and the, uh, the early Mark 3 Escorts and Mark 2s, the sun turned them pink. But we'll be on that now because the majority of modern automotive finishes are uh, clear over a base coat. Now that's an aerosol system bar and I've got to say the, uh, the actual activator, you can get the activator in aerosols. I didn't have any for this demo. I have used them. You've got to be... 
you've got to be brave with him. You've got to get that activator onto the film when you're using an aerosol. Um, it can end up uh, a little bit more pricey than, than using a spray gun. Uh, but at the end of the day, the pressures that you need for uh, the occasional bit of activating when you dip in a very cheap DIY compressor, as long as it's got the right kind of air separators and water traps and regulators on it, you know, uh, your local supermarket, 50, 60 quid on sale sometimes. So, I hope that's coming useful and I hope it sort of helps any guys that want to get into dipping or are in dipping and are struggling with spray cans. Don't use the, uh, the cheap crap. Get yourself some professional spray cans. I mean, the, the guys that distribute this stuff, they can get uh, the spectrum and colours in it. And the majority of automotive outlets, trade outlets, will be able to mix every single colour in a 2K base and put it uh, in an aerosol. 